Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Forutex. So another ROM maintained by the Vikas and the team except the Icon OS is the Pixel S friends. And they released the new update on 20th April 2022. This time it is the plus edition of Pixel X friends. If you are missing some basic customization in Pixel X friends then your wait is over. New Pixel X friends plus has all the new features that we are going to discuss in the video. There are some basic features of the ROM like the core recording, OK Google, camera portrait modes, 4K 60fps and slow motion. All these are tested in the video. Finally I failed this ROM is completely bugless and the giving awesome performance. So if you are a fan of Pixel S friends then watch the video till the end. So you can decide do you need to upgrade the custom ROM or not. Now without wasting any time let's get started. The new adventure. I didn't show the installation here, you can check the right side card Cyber Air ROM installation video. As the ROM didn't have the OTA updater, you need to flash the ROM via TWRP. You need to follow the same installation, but if you are upgrading from the Pixel experience, then no need to format data partition, skip that step. So I done the clean installation, all the things done here. If you go to the bot phone, this is the same old Android 12.1 or also called as 12L version with the same easter egg. So the security patch is upgraded to 5th April 2022. Old ROM was on the mass security patch. Kernel is enforcing and upgraded to the latest Primus 4.9.309 built with the latest Google LLVM toolchain. This ROM built on the 20th April 2022. So we've seen the some basic change log. Now we'll see what's new is added in the Pixel Experience Plus. In the settings under the system, we get the two different tabs, buttons and the status bar. In the buttons, we gauge the volume button, long press to seek the music tracks when the phone screen is off. We gauge the dedicated toggle to enable the partial screenshot by long pressing the volume down plus power button. In the press and hold power button, we gauge the hold for the assistant and the one new tab advanced restart and menu shortcuts. We can use it to enable the advanced restart menu like the recovery, bootloader, etc. We can also add the new options in a power menu. In additional buttons, we can change the alert slider actions and add new other activities like the priority only, total silence, all alarm only actions. Let's check the status bar tab. Here we get the new advanced network traffic monitor. We can add the network traffic monitor in a status bar or in a quick setting panel. We also get the auto hide option when there is no any data activity. We also get the double tap on a status bar to turn off the display. Beside this, we get the old same customizations like the clock position, AMPM styles, battery styles, battery percentage, etc. In the display setting, beside the color modes, now we get the one new setting, it's called as the live display. There we get the color profile, display mode, anti-flicker, reading mode, color calibration, and the picture adjustment. All these settings helps you to increase the screen color accuracy. In the auto rotation setting, we get the phase detection and some rotation modes like the 0, 90, 180 and 270 degree. In the lock screen, we get the media art and the music visualizer options but the music visualizer is not working but after reboot it may sometime work so it seems buggy. If you check the volume panel, now we get the new vertically aligned volume slider for the media alarm sound which was previously aligned to the bottom of the screen. Instead of this, per app volume control tab is added in the volume panel to control the volume of ongoing media playbacks only. But to use this, we need to enable the per app volume toggle in the sound setting. Media volume output switch tab is also implemented in the volume panel to switch the media output between the speakers and the Bluetooth devices without going into the notification panel. ROM has the chord recording feature in the dialer and it's working with the audio in the recording. Surprisingly, OK Google detection is also working in the ROM. Just enable the OK Google tab in a voice setting of the Google application, retrain the voice and restart your device. Now you can access the OK Google anywhere in the ROM and there will be no side effect of this in a ROM. Like the lag in YouTube videos or the music playbacks. Developer also fixed the incoming call issues for the Airtel HD calls as some users reported for the such issues previously. ROM has the HD audio for the Bluetooth devices and it supports the three different HD audio codecs like the SBC, ACC and LDAC. So ROM comes with the normal Android cam version which has nothing new features but I have given the new OnePlus camera link in the video description. 
It has all the features working, especially 4K 60fps video recording, slow motion video recording are working. Only issue is in a portrait mode. When you try to use it, camera gets forced close. So let's do some stability and the performance test. I will use the Geekbench application here. ROM is already very snappy and the fast. Similarly, I got the good results like for single core, it is 498 and for the multi core, it is 2036, which is pretty good score. ROM passes the Asna safety net check. Wide one is still on L3, so no HD content for the Netflix, Disney Plus, Hotstar like applications. Besides this, ROM has all the Android 12 L features working like the extended quick setting tiles. Recent panel quick search tab for the links and the pictures, quick switch for the last 5 wallpapers. I done all the sensor test and the major setting test, all the things are working fine in the ROM. So we done the full review of the ROM and it seems that the now Pixel S friends got all the major customizations that every custom ROM user wants. ROM is pretty stable, only portrait picture camera issue we found here. Battery life is awesome for this ROM, we guess the nearly 6 to 7 hour of SOT with the full day battery with the moderate uses. But developers has announced that now afterwards when you get the maximum download for this ROM as compared to the Awaken OS then only they will maintain the ROM. So it's our responsibility now if you really like this ROM then definitely download and flash and support the development. So that's it guys for today. Thanks for watching this video. If I help you please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Take care. Bye bye.